Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to a quick little RV video. My name is JP and this is Wander to Get Lost. All right, and thank you for joining me in this video today. This is a quick little uh, video that is in conjunction with the RVI brake products that we've been reviewing and testing out. And this is using the included function on the command center tablet of the RV level. So we're going to test out and see um, how accurate this RV level is by leveling our RV today. And it should basically take maybe a couple of minutes once we drop the jacks to get it into position. So once you're in the RVI tablet, when you turn it on, a couple of things. Make sure your command center uh, puck is also on, so that way the tablet is connecting to your puck. If you don't know how to do that, um, you can reference their manual or watch one of our other RVI brake manuals where we go over that. And basically, all you're gonna do is just hit the RVI level. There's no installation. And it's gonna give you a level. Obviously, you wanna get your um, dots into the center there. So one thing I have to do is I have to take the RVI brake puck off the wall mount where it is and then place it in the middle of the floor. And what I'm gonna do is I also have our bubble level that we have been using and I also brought a three foot um, or two and a half foot construction level and that is there as well. So I'm gonna use that um, as some like manual guides. All right, so let's take the puck off, put it on the floor and then we're gonna start up the RV and drop our jacks. Just uh, be forewarned, I might turn down the volume a little bit uh, when using the jack system, just because once I turn on the RV and I enable the jacks, it just beeps incessantly over and over. <laughs> so, um, so I'm gonna figure out how I can make this sound not annoying. So you watch the video. <laughs> All right, so here we go. And um, yeah, hopefully this works out great. All right, and just remember one other thing. Um, we are sponsored by RVI Brake, so they did provide this product to us at no cost, but we are doing what they said, just review the product as a normal user. Uh, also, the RVI level is included with the command center product, so if you buy the tire pressure monitoring system, you get the level. So you don't have to spend and get another leveling product. If you get their towing system, you get the command center and you get the level. So it's pretty cool, it's included. So you save anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so here is our bubble level that we've been using um, since we got the RV. Here's my uh, construction level and I'll see if I can show you. It's actually showing that we have to raise the front up quite a bit. So we're gonna see how that works out. And if I check the bubble, also you can see, it's pretty much just gotta raise the front. It's pretty much left to right is good. Uh, we just need to pitch the front up a bit. All right. So here is my RVI brake puck. And you can see it's flashing blue. So that means it's communicating with the tablet. So I'm just gonna pull it off. Place it here on the floor, and we're gonna point the arrow towards the front of the RV. So this is pretty much about the center of the RV. Eh, maybe a little over right here. I'm gonna put the bubble level right next to it, right behind it, and then I'll keep my level right here. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the RV and enable our jacks, and then we'll be watching the screen and see how we work out. All right. All right, so looking at the tablet now, we're actually on pretty level ground because the spot where I parked the RV is pretty level. So my left to right is looking pretty good. I just have to raise the front a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna turn on my leveling system and I'm just gonna start raising the front jacks until that blue dot comes into the center with the yellow dot and then we're just going to go look and verify with the bubble level and the um, uh, construction level. All right, let's give it a shot.
right, so they're in there. It still says raise, but it's coming in and on. So we're gonna double check the construction level and the bubble level, see if uh, we're good to go. All right, so the bubble level, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's actually pretty dead on right in the center. I could raise the side just a smidge, but that's really good. And my construction level, well, if you could see, I could probably raise it a smidge, but that is level. Uh, let's check the left to right. And my left to right is also good. So look at that, not too bad. Definitely was easy being that I had a pretty level spot here for our driveway. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed. All right, so let's go back. All right, as you can see, my left to right and my front to back, nice and dead center. Kind of moves a little bit, but you know, that's very accurate. And uh, it's not flashing to raise it anymore. So we're in a locked level spot. So I am good to go with the level of the RV. So that didn't take much, that didn't take much time at all. All right, uh, so that's it. As you can see, it's really simple to use the RVI brake leveling feature on their command center tablet. And I'm pretty stoked that it came with the whole system. And if you purchase the system, as I said before, it comes included and you don't have to buy uh, an extra leveling add-on product. So that's really, really awesome. And uh, we're not going to need the bubble level, level anymore. And we're not going to need a construction level anymore. So um, you can see that it's quite accurate. Um, RVI states that when they send you the puck, they've already calibrated the um, puck to ensure accuracy. In the command center, there is a uh, calibration tool so that you can actually recalibrate the puck. Um, so what I would do if I was you, the first time using it, make sure, as I did here, use the puck with you know an extra leveling tool um, just to make sure that it is matching up with the you know the tablet showing you what level is. Um, if it's not matching up then I would calibrate it and then um, go through the steps again to level your RV and make sure it matches up. And once um, you do that, you should probably have no issues if the calibration is off. Uh, it's also a good idea probably to calibrate it every once in a while, especially if the unit falls um, or, you know, sometimes calibration can uh, go out of whack. So always double check. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, my RV is level. I'm gonna bump the pop outs and uh, we're gonna do some projects in the RV. Um, let's see, quick little update because we haven't had time to make uh, update videos about what's going on, but we have like three more projects left to do in the house. One is paint the whole first level. I've already, I've already done the bathroom, so if you follow us on Instagram, you'll see that uh, I've already finished off the bathroom. Um, I have to put finally got the cabinet for above our fridge in the kitchen So I have to install that and finish up some paneling and molding and then um, Also install some molding in a few more places But then once we do that I can fully paint the whole house and then uh, the house we're hoping to have officially listed in six days that's <laughs> Realistic or not. That's what we're trying so um, maybe this week uh, I'm gonna do a walkthrough video of our house um, and uh, yeah so we did cross off a bunch of big projects we got the deck stained and as I said I did the bathroom and just been trying to get them all ticked off so that way we can list the house and um, yeah oh we also rented a U-Haul uh, a storage pod and trying to fill that up and declutter the house as well so it's amazing how much stuff you can accumulate all right, so that's, uh, that's a little update. So thanks again for watching. To all our new subscribers, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you would, please hit that thumbs up if this video helped you. 
and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that bell, you get notifications of when we drop a new video. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It's Saturday. Have a great weekend, everybody. I am off to work tonight. Um, just got to save those lives. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. See you on the next video.